Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday again. Now, you may know that when I set out on Whiteboard Wednesdays, I sort of saw it as a rant because I thought I had lots to rant about. But actually, I don't. But today, I'm going to get quite close to getting ranty. So a lot of you watching this, I know, will be on a health journey of some sort. It may be that you want to improve your lot now or that you're actually not content with where you are now. And this often involves a, an unhappiness or a dissatisfaction with weight. So it may be that you've got too little weight, it may be that you've got too much weight, or you want to maintain weight in a time of stress, struggle, or exceedingly hard work. And I think when we sort of, most of us instinctively go, right, I need to get my ass out of bed and into the gym, I need to get running and I want to get exercising. What I want to say to you now is stop, just stop and think. Your body doesn't actually work this simply. And you might remember when I talked about the calories that you use in a day, over 70% is taken up just living. So if you're sat in front of Netflix all day, you will still consume 70% of all that you are eating. So the lowest hanging fruit is to actually control the intake of your calories. And after that, is the area that I'm talking about a lot this week. It's called NEAT. It's your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is a really posh way of saying climbing stairs, running around, doing the housework, going to work and just living. And as you can see from my little pie chart here, it's actually almost three times what most of us use going to the gym and exercising. Now, please don't take this from me that exercise is not good. It's incredible for metabolic health. But I see an awful lot of people going to the gym and just getting on steppers, getting on running machines, getting on cycling machines and doing stuff that, to be honest, in my view, is a complete and utter waste of time at the gym. These are the sorts of things you could be really enjoying outside all with friends, going for walks, cycling, running, swimming, rowing. Why be in an air conditioned space when you could be having a lot of joy? But when you do go to the gym, it is very, very worthwhile looking at some form of weight training or strength and conditioning. And why do I say that? It's because you get double bang for buck, because you will be lifting weights, you will be building your frame, you will be getting stronger, you'll be keeping um, fragility and decrepitude at bay. And I want to give you a little demo, which I've given before. You will get gas too. What do I mean by that? I mean, you will get cardio. And let me just prove it here, because if you do any more than pretty much five reps, so there's me here with a fairly big dumbbell, okay? And I'm just going to lift it a few times whilst I'm talking to you, okay? So this is not strongman type stuff where you see these guys lift a massive weight off the floor. This is just doing some weight training and you will see when I put this down right now, I am actually a bit gassed, right? So if you're doing your exercises right and you've got good tuition or you've got good guidance at your gym or you take on a PT of some sort to look after you, you will get double bang for buck. So next time you're thinking about improving your health, health lot, whether it's weight control or strength or just general metabolic outcomes in your life, just think of my little pie chart here. And for a much easier life to start with, you could really do no better than looking at controlling the calories, which you will need to measure on an app like MyFitnessPal. And after that, look at what you actually do in your day. Is there a way that you could just up your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis? More hoovering, more washing, more running to school, uh, all that sort of stuff, or walking upstairs and escalators. So I hope that's a help, and I, until next time, stay strong.